Hello everyone, praise be to God on this glorious sunny day today, and welcome back to Mandel's Maze Mayhem. We are continuing with the level pack today, I believe we are on the start of World 7. This world is called Rugged Abyss. Don't know what tile set to expect, but my prediction is the orange caves that were levels 26 through 30 in the original Maze of Madness. Let's start. No, it's the black I'm caves. The and we've got the dark purple background, and this is introducing the dogfish. Lovely. Okay. Interesting. I don't want that other worm, though, if I'm being honest. Alright, I want to push that rock upwards. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. I can deal with the dogfish. I don't mind the dogfish. Interesting that we're getting the first world this late into the game. Alrighty, this one is gonna be a little trickier. the dogfish being trapped here. Okay. Alright, I see how this is gonna go. Beautiful. Now if we can just get rid of that dogfish on our backs. That'd be great. Push that upwards. Booyah. Hi, little dogfish. I can actually deal with him. Dogfish is not too bad. Yeah, he can be annoying if he's on your tail, but because he always just moves towards wherever you are on the map, whether there's a wall in the way or not, it's very easy to manipulate him. Easier than just about every other uh, enemy in the game, actually. Ooh, balloon! No, I don't think so. Yeah, Dogfish was just kind of standing there like, Oh, he's low down on the map. I'll just be low down on the map as, far, as long as I can. Oh, can't go left. I'll just stay here. So this red rock here didn't have any purpose. Except maybe to stun the dogfish if you need to do that. I like the dark background of the dark rocks, but it all still stands out just fine. Oh, interesting. I'm sure there's a lot of special stuff that can spawn in this room, like birthday cakes and the like. Alright. So getting out of this room is going to take a little bit of finagling. So what we want to do is we want to lure the dogfish up. Beautiful, just like this. And this is going to be great. Wonderful. Easy first level. <laughs> I'm actually very happy to see the dogfish finally out. I believe that's all the enemies that we've encountered thus far, so pretty good start to Rugged Abyss. Let's continue on. Oh boy, more fish bones, more red rocks. I like the red rocks. They're one of my favorite projectiles in the game. Or one of my favorite just objects. Okay. Let's take a look at this room. Or actually, I... We can just take a look at the room with the music. So we can't push this. So clearly we gotta push this pebble there. This pebble here. That pebble could probably go down. 
Because what I want to do is I've got to push the red rock that way. It's pretty obvious that's what I gotta do. I don't think those fish bones can be destroyed at all. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Never mind. Mmm, I like these holes. I'm really liking the layout of these levels and, like, the puzzles involved. Okay. No dog- oh, there's a dog <laughs> in the center of those rocks. Excellent. Alrighty. Looks like this is a pretty self-contained room. Got a purple sea urchin that we need to grab first. Okay. So as soon as we push that rock, all these will blow up and then we gotta deal with the dogfish. And the blowfish is also not going to be very fun to deal with. Alright. <laughs> it's a chain reaction. <laughs> Actually, the blowfish won't... The blowfish in conjunction with the dogfish could be a bit problematic. Cool, I got the dogfish stuck. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Beautiful. So you can see that, yeah, the dogfish is just following everywhere I go, even though he can't actually reach me here. Alright, now we gotta lure the dogfish up here. The fish is gonna be slow enough that we can just dip past him. Beautiful. Oh, this is a bit less beautiful. Don't think I have any of the bubble bath. I feel like you almost need to use the blowfish as a shield. Hmm. That room is tricky to do without bubble bath. And I don't think I have bubble bath. Or maybe I was just pushing the wrong button. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't have bubble bath. Okay, well that room kind of sucks. <laughs> There's not really any easy or safe way to get through that room. You just kind of have to tank a lot of hits. Come on! I definitely want to go into that bonus room down there. Heck yeah, I'm going into that room. Cool, I've trapped that dogfish. This is what I want to see. Okay, that's clever. Still don't really know how to do the room up above. You do not want to push that rock down. You want to push this rock to the left. Doggone it! I forgot I got all the kelp seeds. I want to see what's in that room, though. I just want to see what's in that room. I'm not completing a level again, I just want to know what's in there. I figured it would be a bonus room because of how difficult it is to get in there. Darn it, I thought for sure I left a kelp seed somewhere. I don't even know why I did that. That's gonna hurt my score now. Not that it was that great to begin with. Alright, let's see what's down here. Bubble bath. 
and a lot of good stuff. Okay. Well, I want to leave that rock there, so... This fishbone here, though. Hmm. So it's making me, okay, it's making me wonder. It's probably you have a choice. You can destroy these or you can destroy that one. And you actually want to destroy that one. The question is how do you go about doing that? Oh, I know. You gotta use the sponge. Well, I couldn't push that sponge in any. That's interesting. This is an interesting room. I'm not really sure what to do. Because if I push this to the left, all of these are going to get destroyed, but it's really not going to do anything. Like, that's not going to destroy this, and that's the fishbone that I want to actually destroy. Well, let's, let's start with the easy one. The, I can only push this one at the bottom left or right. Oh, I see. You do have to use the sponges. Okay. Now if we can get inside here, we can push this to the right. It'll hit the sponge and blow that up. Mmm. Oh, this is clever. Okay. I'm going far out of my way just to show this off, but it's a really cool puzzle. Professor Layton would be proud. Alright, so we're back in this room. This is how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna start by destroying these sponges, because we gotta find a way out of that starting area. This is where things get crazy. It's so precise. So first you destroy this sponge. Then this sponge. Then that sponge. I'm gonna go over here. Now you're gonna launch that. Gonna launch that upwards. Now we're gonna push the sponge up. Push it all the way over there. And leave it. Now we're pushing this sponge upwards. And pushing it one to the left. I don't think that's necessary, but just in case, I don't want to screw it up again. Going back to the start, and now we're pushing the red rock. Let me just make sure. Yep. That destroys those, and now we can get in here and destroy that fishbone over there. Two of the fishbones will be left, but now we can grab the pearl chests and the bubble bath. That was kind of a lot of work just for, I'll be perfectly honest, kind of a small reward. Bubble Bath is nice and all, and the pearls are really cool, but... That almost seems like a late world bonus level kind of shenanigans that you need. But really cool using the green sponges as shields to stop the red rocks early. Very well done. Really like that puzzle. We have eaten up a ton of time in just two levels, so... How fun. Oh no. I don't like the look of that up there. Thankfully, the crabs are all trapped. I 
just start up here? Why? I thought that would be something I get to do later. Alright, well, I hope the crabs stay up there. Oh, no. If I ever, at any point, get... Have my sandwich eaten in this room, it's gonna be real bad. Oh, also, I didn't leave the cups in the hide. That could be problematic. Oh, I don't like the crab navigating the maze. Don't like that at all, Sam. I am. Really hope I didn't have to leave a kelp seed behind. This room. It doesn't appear so. Okay. Oh, I don't like the number of squid in this room. Hey, man. I said, hey, man. Hey, man. He doesn't want to say it. There we go. I was waiting for that. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty cool chain reaction. Well done, Mandel. Actually, his name is Mandels, not Mandel. It's more than one. Sorry, buddy. Um, hi, 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 hi. Uh, did you... Okay. Which way do I want to go first? I don't think it really matters particularly. If I go to the... Hmm. If I go to the right, I get the purple sea urchin. And then I need a spiral shell. It doesn't really matter particularly. Well, okay. I'm gonna do a maneuver. <laughs> oh, my maneuver failed. <laughs> It even failed the second time. I was trying to uh, stun the shark behind me with the shockwave. Okay. Now here's the thing. Well, I definitely need to use the search in there. Did it, huh? Did it, huh? <laughs> I like how they only say, uh, they only make that noise when they get close to you. I gotta get that kelp seed I missed. <laughs> don't like that squid. Oh no, I don't have the bubble bath from the last level because I hit me. Hey, squid, follow me. Yes, it is such a good life. Oh, no, don't go all the way up at the top. Okay, cool. There are too many squid in this room. <laughs> I don't like it. It's very different. I'm not sure I like it. <laughs> I'm glad that those guys are just kind of trapped, though, and they can't really follow me into the next room. It's a letter from our friends. Uh, <laughs> the fiends I do for a balloon. Nope, nope. He's gonna trap me if I do that. He's gonna Vaughn trap me. Plus, I don't even have the starfish yet. Follow me. <laughs> the fact that he could swim through that spiral shell gate at any time. Oh, thank goodness they are so stupid. Hey, dude, come back here. How about a nice, tasty worm on a stick? <laughs> Didn't die. Thank goodness. Well, we have two levels left, and we're at a ra roughly the 20 minute mark. So, this could go well, could go bad. 
The mazes are amazing, Freddy. I will give you that. All right, I start up here. So before the blowfish uh, blow me away, let's take a look at the surrounding area. So we got a lot of pebbles over there on the left. Not really sure what to do with all of those. One of them can be used to destroy a fishbone, but I'm pretty sure only one. Oh, are we going to have to use sponges? Okay, well, I definitely want those pearls, so... Bags of pearls, no problem. Okay, okay. I'm going to try to leave it. Now I just have to make sure the blowfish don't screw me up. Which is easier said than done. Okay. If I push this up here, it will not blow up the ones down there. Exactly what I wanted for Christmas. Um, I didn't. I did not want to do that. Right off the cuff. That was a dirty trick, Uncle Donald. All right. Might as well make the most of it. All right. Freddy's got a smug look on her face. Got the dogfish over there. We just got a lot of kelp seeds. Don't see a purple sea urchin anywhere. That's strange. Why is there no purple sea urchin in this room? I'm very confused. About that. Is this going to be another example of a wobble that I screwed up? I do declare, I don't think that's exactly what it's going to be. Because there's no purple sea urchin, as far as I can tell, which means I probably just missed it. Oh, you son of a gun. I'm pretty sure I know where the purple sea urchin is. Oh, that's clever. That is clever. Well, I definitely don't want to miss another super room, so... I've got to rethink my strategy. Time to get over! I can grab that, that's fine. So I think I did do a bad with the red box. Hmm. So I'm beginning to think it's one or the other. You can either get the bags of pearls or you can get the sea urchin. And I'm guessing the sea urchin is going to be a whole lot better. So. Alternate plan. We're going to do the exact opposite that we did last time. We're going to push this one down. Push this one. Did that way too early. <laughs> I didn't even set up the sponge in place. I hope people will like that I'm showing off all the bonus stuff that I can. Even though I'm failing spectacularly at it. So I would, what I would really, really like to be able to do is get this green sponge, one way or another, up to this row. 
And as of right now, I don't think I can do that. Because, for one, these pebbles are in the way. And there's no way to push these pebbles out of the way. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a sponge up here. So, like, I'm trying to blow up this or this. One or the other. Oh, wait, I can do that. Did not have to push the sponge near me as well. No, Freddy. You pushed it too far. There we go. Push it there. Now we kind of do what we did last time. Okay. I don't know what the heck went on there. I was not holding right. I was holding down and Freddy still pushed it like, um, it's the end of the world. Come on, Freddy. We don't want to be stuck here all day. Take 22. Things I do for a bonus room. It's not even a bonus room. It is literally just a room filled with... Okay, yeah, like that. I was not holding right at all. swim up here. Yep. Just as I thought. I was wondering why those fish bones were up there. Okay. Oh, well, sure enough, it's a lovely room filled with bonus, really great bonus stuff. I like this. Okay. There's another purple suit in the gate, but we don't need to do that. Oh, it's really easy. Oh, wait, no, it's not. There's a sponge in the way. Okay, so we do need a second purple sea urchin. Unless I'm mistaken. Is there a second one in here? Well, how about that? How about that? Man, this has some really tough puzzles for some optional stuff. And doggone it, did I already screw up my chances? Gotta blow up this fish, bro. Really, the only one we have to use is the red rock there, and I destroyed... Well, no, hang on. No, uh, no, probably did. Did I screw up my chances again? Maybe not. This is real tricky. I want to get those prizes.
Okay, yeah, I screwed up my chances. Again, I want that bonus stuff. I want that bonus stuff. We're not even on the last level, and I'm all, I've rest <laughs> we're already at the half hour mark. Oh, this is great, and also really frustrating. Puzzles are just getting harder and harder. Right. At least I can do the first room pretty well now. Freddy Fish, that is not what I said to do, you little pipsqueak. <laughs> Again, was not holding right at all, and she still swam right. I was holding, I went, I manually pushed up to swim up. And she's like, keep going right, push the thing into the wall? Okay. Let's try this for the 11th time, Freddy Fish. Really nice hiding spot for the purple stages. Normally, that you only get that on like the pirate ship with the flag. But good job with that overlaying piece uh, working as well. So yeah, that one sponge I destroyed was the key to the entire puzzle. You know, as it is. Alright. What I need to do is I need to get a rock up there to blow those up. I also need a rock over here to blow that one up. So I need one over this way, one up there. thinking about this because what I need to do is I need to get the sponge up here push it there push it down push it right then push the rock into the sponge but it being but when we get the bonus stuff the question is which direction do we push the thing if we push this one to the left it'll blow up here one two it won't blow up any other rocks so that could be a good start I'm worried about pushing a rock and having to blow up another rock before I've pushed it in the place it needs to be are all in place. Now I just need to execute it properly. Which I probably won't do, because I apparently suck at puzzles. Alright. Up, 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 up. Left, 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 left. These puzzles are so ridiculously intricate, it is insane. This is, this is only world seven. There are 10 worlds. How much tougher can the puzzles get? Give me those points. Give me those points. I need those points right away. Alrighty. Now 
Nah, I'd rather have a worm doodle refill than the present. Worm doodles are so good. All right, we're on level 35, last level of Rugged Abyss. Holy cow. It's probably gonna be even harder because this is where the bonus level's on. All right. Wow, Grandma Grouper's Kelpies are everywhere. On the lookout for the crack, as always. All right, so let's see what I'm up against. I'm up against the dogfish. I'm up against a lot of fish bones. Cool. So now we gotta find a way to push that pebble up there again. Okay, I see where this is going. My source of protection! No, that's not good. Especially when there's a dog for charms. Alright. This room, looking around where- Oh, I see the crack. Crack is right up there. Alright. How am I gonna get there? I see the problem. These sponges are blocking the way, so we need to blow up this. Which is gonna require some finagling. If I can blow up these rocks, I'm good, because that rock, when it blows up, will destroy that. Alright, alright. Oh, of course there's currents. Because why wouldn't there be? Alright, well, we'll come back there later, I suppose. Alright. Interesting. Got a starfish in here, so if I can if I can keep those squid for as long as possible. Thank you. <laughs> Love the birthday cake sound effect. Alright, that purple sea urchin gate is going to be the bane of my existence. Again, I'm guessing. Similarly to how it was on that other level with the bonus hole. Do I not have bubble bath? I thought for sure I got bubble bath. No, I got a bubble. There's another purple sea urchin. How about that? Uh, okay, that's the thing. If you're ever in a position where there's like the four squares and the dogfish is chasing you, you got no way of knowing which way the dogfish is going to go. But it will probably be from the way you're not expecting. As long as the what a life squid down there cooperates. What a life up here is being a pain. Also, I'm out of my last life, which is not good. My last sandwich, they're not lives, they're sandwiches. No, stay there. I gotta wait for him to move. Like, far away. I also gotta make sure the dogfish don't come after me. <laughs> I appreciate the squid moving sideways block the dogfish. Cool, cool. Alright, I'm in. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. I do still need to make sure I can reach the scepter. So let me see. There we go. We're in. All right. Oh, 
Alright, so now we need to get that second uh, purple sea urchin. Let's see where these whirlpools go, for starters. Okay, gotta push that red rock to the... No, I don't have to push that red rock to the left. I do not. Alright, so then, end game. End game goals. Let's look at those. So I've got to destroy this, uh, this right there. I can do that by destroying that sponge, pushing this to the left. I can use that to go up there, and I can grab what I'm, I'm guessing this is the scepter trigger area. I just want to make sure the scepter doesn't appear in a place that I won't be able to reach. I don't think that can happen, but you never know. Oh, wait, what? But that that should have had more reach. That's baloney, that's what that is. But you know what? I can fix this. Hmm, wait. Darn it. No, no, no. Don't tell me I have to restart after all of that. Oh, that's where it triggers. How interesting. Beautiful. I actually made it to the bonus room for- oh, wait, okay, hang on. Hang on. You made it to the bonus room first try, guys! I never had to reset on that level. Aren't you proud of me? Especially since that is the hardest world in terms of puzzles. For sure. Wow. Holy cow. I did it, though. Oh, I feel so accomplished. And it only took me, like, 50 minutes. I'm still not out of the woods yet, though. I got, I got two extra sandwiches, which is very useful. But it's me. I could very easily lose three sandwiches before I can grab all the cup seeds. Especially without but I, I'm just wondering. We've gone. <laughs> we have... We're only on World 7, and the, the, the puzzles are already this hard. I shudder to think what the last World's puzzles are gonna be like. What's gonna, what gimmicks do we have left that we haven't seen yet? I'm trying to think, what gimmicks have we not seen yet? We haven't seen like any five... We haven't seen a whole lot with the orange sponges, but we have seen it with a few... Um... We've seen the hinges. We've definitely seen the sponges. We've basically hit all the gimmicks at this point, so there's not a whole lot to go off of. Call me in Oh, okay, great. Great. The only thing I have left to do is tame the dogfish. Yeah! That was a super hard world! Holy cow! That took, like, almost twice as long as most of the other worlds, but that was Rugged Abyss. Holy cow, I am kind of glad to be done with that world. It, it was fun and really well done, really well designed, but holy cow, that world was really tough in terms of puzzles. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time when we go to World 8, Sunset Cavern. That's going to be awesome. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.